Hello YouTube, Derbador to Weldor here. So guys, I ain't had breakfast. This is how excited I am right now. Done, done, done. Ta da! This is what I'm a fixing to go get. Thank you, sir. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, yes. Trust me. I'm going to enjoy it. I had an old one that was about as old as the damn truck. They kept breaking on me. I was like, you know what? It's time to buckle down and buy a new one. Thank you. in tears I finally bought one and look at that look at that look at them specs what 225 amps 100% duty cycle well half inch steel in a single pass eh, one day I'll put that to the test ah, sweet. oh my goodness look at that there's something cool about opening up an engine drive and it don't have oil and dust and crap from only God knows where sitting in it. It's like, sweet. It ain't my problem. I get to get throw my own oil on here and get dust from places I've been on here now. All from the start. Sweet. Oh, that's going to be funky. I wonder how you got, have to get the battery out of here. I don't like the looks of that at all. Probably something I should have thought about. Battery looks like it's going to be a pain to get out. Oh boy. Oh well. Stuff. It's new. Hopefully I won't have any problems with it. So guys, this is it. The Hobart Champion Elite. And for those of you who are asking about the 145, I still got it. You can see back there, it's still on the truck. Still running good this is an upgrade and it's a much needed upgrade and you know just moving on to bigger jobs we need more generator power more welding power and this machine fits the bill right here this machine absolutely fits the bill so the reason I went with this over to Bobcat was because this was about 1300 bucks less at my local tractor supply than it would have been to get a Bobcat 225 and the, Bob, the only real difference between this and the 225, Bobcat 225 is paint and the constant voltage feature. And I think AC too. I don't know if the Bobcat 225 still has AC weld output or not. But I don't need constant voltage. I don't use constant voltage straight off of the engine drive. If anything, I'm making good use of that 220 outlet 50 amp 220 outlet 11,000 watts this will power just about any mig welder you know any 200 amp mig welder maybe a 250 amp mig welder right off of this machine so really this will this will power my lincoln 210 mp and my miller matic 211 probably both at the same time not at full full power and one at full power no problems at all whatsoever so really there's no need for a constant voltage setup because i'd have to go buy a thousand dollar wire feeder or something like that which is about as much as i paid for my millermatic 211 so i'd actually be better off just getting this and buying a second millermatic 211 or hell the multimatic 215 and now i can use that separate from this machine like if i go into a building or whatever 
are inside, I can plug it into their power on site and not even have to fire this up to wire weld. So just an idea. What, what's going to happen is the 211 is going to live on the truck and I'm going to get a spool gun, the 20 foot 150 amp spool gun for the Millimatic 211. And that's how I'm going to do aluminum from now on because the high frequency box is gone. I sold it about the same time I sold what was left of the Blue Star 2E. And all that money, I scraped all that money together from my last couple jobs. And the check for those roof ladders that I did in Durham a couple months ago finally showed up. I finally got it. And I was able to use that to buy this machine straight out. No debt. 100% cash i own this machine and they had a deal going on at that particular tractor supply with the manager special it was 200 off the sticker price so basically that 200 dollars covered my taxes so i got this for exact for um it was two two thousand nine hundred and eighty some dollars it was less than what was on the sticker by the time it was said and done so it, it's just a phenomenal deal. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some serial numbers off this thing, pull the manual out, and then I'm going to go register it online before I do anything else for the warranty and all of that fun stuff. One of the things you do have to do is you have to install the little um, exhaust pipe here, which is pretty cool because it allows you, you can undo this and you can point it wherever. So when it's on your service truck or your truck, I guess we call that a service truck. Sure, it's a service truck. We can point the exhaust wherever we want so we ain't pointing the exhaust on something critical. Kind of like right now, the exhaust of the 145 is blowing right onto that middle box. That's why there's hardly anything in there. Because that exhaust gets hot and it heats up the box and then, oh, it just becomes... Oh, it becomes so good. We just love hot exhaust blowing straight onto a aluminum box heating it up and cooking our tools it's just a fun thing so yeah i figured i'd throw this on before i did anything else just that way it's on if it rains i don't come out here to water in my exhaust or anything like that because you know it's north carolina it could rain it could snow or you know in five minutes it could be bright and sunny and 80 degrees and i'm headed to the beach i mean i don't know north carolina weather man yeah, I got gas. I got gas in that can on the back of the truck. There you go. Gotta have this on video. Well, <laughs> Zero hours. Ah, <laughs> uh, had to have that on video. I'm gonna check. Make sure we got. Yeah, we don't wanna. We don't wanna screw up our our brand new. Welding machine. This fired up first time with no warning. Oh yeah. That's, That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're good, yeah. We're good on oil. So alright. I'm gonna throw some gas in here and fire. It'll tell you in the book. Oh god, we ain't even halfway. <laughs> <laughs> no one has got a 14 hour run time. Oh, look at this. Uh -huh. Ah, it's not like the Blue Star. You go driving a sloshing gas now as you stop. <laughs> drip, drip, drip. drip. Alright. So, for my ODC, I'm checking on one more time. My OCD. Just because I'm crazy. And this thing's just for the hell of it, take that thing off and make sure that they, they, they didn't like do something stupid and leave the plastic on the air filter or something stupid. Yeah, that's right in the middle. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's, let's check hey, that. Hey, look, you're bringing a bird home. Oh, good. The cat's actually worth something. It's a little red bird, like a finch size bird or something. That damn cat's got to do something besides, you know, mooch. I'm wondering if that cat was ever going to harden up. Oh, yeah. Put your can in, kill the filter kit on that boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Just pull it out, wash it out whenever. Yep, look. 
Look pretty I got dirty. a cone style filter that's about just got a diameter about this size. If that's the size of the fruit, just stick that cone filter on top. Well, for a duration of the warranty, I'm using only Kohler parts. I was just fucking with it. I just thought it would be funny. Oh, yeah. I'm the way that, I was just meant because of the way that filter looks. It looks just like a damn wreck. Just, oh, yeah. You can get your cane and kiff that. <laughs> yeah, but definitely for the duration, the engine has a oh, two year warranty. Oh, it's straight so. up exactly about a book. Yeah, we're, we're by the book during that warranty period. After that, we can do a little hee and all that. To drain oil, push and turn. Pull. Oh! Cool, look at this. It says, to drain oil, push and turn. So you pop it open, then you push it and turn. Oh, so we could put a drain hose on Ooh. the end of that. Uh, and then push and turn. Yeah. Oh, sweet. All right, cool. We'll have to build something like that before it goes on. This is going to be my camera guy and hold my little... A little teeny tiny camera. I hope it's still inside. No hours. You have to put the first hour on it. Got it. Now run gas for it. screen go off? Yeah, it'll go, the screen will go off after a while, but it's still recording.
I've gotten is 60 tens to try. One thing I love to get 60 tens is tied in. Those are the ones that make the machines are picky about. You hear it running? I'm gonna weld some aluminum off the power mig here real quick. I was working on adding stuff in these boxes. Trying somewhat organize stuff better. It somewhat worked. Like this side turned out a lot better. Like Oh my goodness, he actually tries to keep his stuff in order. What? It's not a big mess. Or as big of a mess. Once I put more stuff in there, I'll be a mess again. I can guarantee you. But, got this. Had this out here. I was running off a of wall power. I just hooked it in to the Champion Elite. There we go.
check out that big, ugly 5356 B, but there it is. There it is. Yeah, I can see it. That's full power. That's running off of the. That's running off the Champion Elite. Shut that off. It should idle down. Now there's no draw whatsoever. There it goes. Idle down. Beautiful. Look at this. Not even an hour. What? And this is what we finally did. We did stick weld at full power, but the camera battery was dying and acting silly. So yeah, it did run all those rods just absolutely perfect. So, so far, absolutely fantastic. So, in retrospect, sitting here, see how many we got on. What do we have on it now? Oh, look, it tells me how much longer till an oil change. I love that feature. Look at that right there, 0.4 hours. Beautiful. So, in retrospect, I'm going to do a cool little selfie shot right here next to it. Ah. <laughs> anyway, in retrospect, in retrospect, I'm a little mad at myself that I waited so long to get this machine. I wish last year I had really buckled down and scraped my money together and bought this thing. But last year I was also working on the truck, so this, uh, this machine is kind of pointless without a truck. But, in retrospect, this is how I would have started again if I had to start over. Um, Lincoln 210 MP, the... Harbor Freight um, 8750 and run with that for a while. Like, I'd run with that until I could scrape the money together for this. Because this thing is awesome. It runs every electrode that I throw at it. It's it's hot. I mean, there's no... It's not, it's not short of power at all. You can feel it when you stick weld. It is crisp. It's clean. It's, you know, maybe, maybe a little high on the arc force side. Or I just can't really figure out where everything runs yet. But it runs my Lincoln 210 MP at full power pushing aluminum, which is a must for what I do. Because I do a lot of aluminum, so that is a must right now. I need 200 amps of aluminum. So, And the cool thing about the Hobart that the Hobart has over the Miller is the Hobart actually has the welder plug on here, not the... Um, not the AC output. The Miller only has that one. The Hobart has this in place of what would be on the Bobcat 225. It would be another lug sitting right here that would be for AC weld output. So that's a, this is a huge bonus for what I do. I really, really like it because I don't use that, that one. They do sell an adapter, but I feel like it's kind of like... Um, Kind of like Apple and the iPhone, you know. Here's the um, here's the iPhone. Oh, you know, we took out the um, we took out the aux cord plug. Here's a doodah, so you can plug it in the bottom and get your aux cord back. But this is definitely very nice to have. No need for an adapter, and it starts right up, just fine. So. One of these days, tomorrow's project, because it's, it's basically, the day is basically gone. Tomorrow's project will be mounting this on the truck somehow. And it's going to be fun to try and figure out how to, how to mount it on the truck and not ding, ding anything up or beat anything up that I got on the truck already. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't, please be sure to like and subscribe. Just like I did with the Champion 145. About this time next year, I'm going to do a review on it. So, we'll have a one-year review of the Champion Elite, just like we had the one-year review of the um, Champion 145. And, you know, y'all will be able to see this thing. Oh, this is definitely not the last we're going to see of this machine. It's going to be living on the truck, and we're going to be using this thing for all sorts of stuff. 
and you know I kind of I'm kind of curious to see how it's gonna fit on the truck and how all that's gonna go. So thank you guys for watching, and y'all have a fantastic.